when Thailand's military took over. After months of street protests and political deadlock, the generals announced they'd had enough. Since then, their rule has been absolute. At the time, Willowan, a garment manufacturer, had been keen to see the military step in. She had supported the street protest that opened the door for the coup, but this year has not been good. Business is down 30%, inflation is biting hard, and overseas buyers are nervous about the future. We can deny that the demonstration and the coup have had a negative effect on the economy, and we need to adjust to the situation. In the countryside, the impact has been even more profound. Stuck between offering subsidies and falling commodity prices, incomes have dropped by as much as 20 percent, while prices continue to rise. And while that may be due to factors outside the general's control, they've offered little to the lower-income families bearing the brunt of the downturn. You saw like agricultural prices are um, still um, contracting, rubber in particular, 40 percent of the um, population still in the agricultural sector. So that affects a lot of um, a lot, um, income of a lot of people. The military have imposed their rule with force. Demonstrations have been shut down and critics silenced with detention and threats. But for the most part, Bangkok has remained peaceful, something the residents are grateful for after years of street protests. Twelve months on and the military emplacements that were all over this area have now been cleared away. People here are incredibly grateful that peace has been returned to the capital city. But they're also concerned that the tensions are still there and the political problems that have plagued Thailand for well over a decade are lying just underneath the surface. And those underlying tensions may bubble up again soon. Wrangling over a new constitution and referendum is being used as an excuse to further delay elections. And with a faltering economy, uncertainty is not good news. Uh, they don't look the same, but nowhere near the popularity they had after they came in in May 2014, after six months of street protests. So now they have to really run the Thai economy and govern Thailand and put up with people's uh, demands and expectations. Not going to be easy. We will see more tension and, and perhaps even some turmoil in the year ahead. Democracy Monument was raised to commemorate the coup that established Thailand as a constitutional monarchy in 1939. The latest coup seems to be turning back the hands of time. Tony Cheng, CCTV, Bangkok.